Now to Climate Watch, where the EPA says only about 9% of the plastics created in the U.S. is actually recycled. Meg Oliver shows us how one company is trying to capitalize on a more long-term solution. Like millions of Americans, Cheryl Suvalik has products delivered to her house, but the new service she's testing is different. It's just like any other e-commerce shopping site. You order your products. Everything about the entire order is, there's nothing to recycle. Everything is reusable. The site, called Loop, sells dozens of brand name products from Tide detergent to haagen ice cream in stainless steel or other reusable containers. When Cheryl is done, she ships them back. So this is a modern version of the Milkman. Yeah, Loop is a reboot of the Milkman. Tom Zaki is the CEO of TerraCycle, the company behind Loop. He points out that the vast majority of containers end up in a landfill or the ocean. But Loop's containers are sent to a plant like this one. They're washed, sterilized, and sent to the manufacturer to be refilled. The world's biggest companies, from P&G to Nestle, from Mars to Unilever to Clorox, and I mean, Coke and Pepsi, all of these guys have joined in. How will this ultimately help the environment? Well, when you move from single-use uh, products and packages to multi-use, what you're doing is you're eliminating the need to create packaging over and over and over. Cornell professor Glenn Dowell likes the concept, but says all that shipping has an environmental impact. When we think about the footprint of the transportation, of getting the containers back and forth, it's going to be quite a few times that these containers have to be reused before they're better in an environmental sense than the uh, plastic containers they replace. Loopstore.com will be available to the public on May 21st. I do it because I believe in the program and I believe in the concept. Suvalik paid a one-time deposit of $2.50 for each container and a $7 shipping fee for each order. But she believes it's money well spent. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Langhorne, Pennsylvania.